sounds like some sort of machine. Exactly. A lawnmower, to be precise. No, it doesn't sound like a lawnmower to me. Anyway, I'm sure Margie wouldn't be using one of those in the house. She shouldn't be, I'll grant you that. But she is, as you can hear. <laughs> Perhaps she wants to trim the carpet. Who knows what strange things human folks get up to. It can't be a lawnmower. It's some other sort of machine. Well, you will see, Tiddler. You will see. Prepare to feast your eyes on Marjorie mowing her carpet. <laughs> oh, hello, you two. There you are, Tiddler. She's... she's... Uh... What is that? This? It's a sewing machine, of course. <laughs> you must have thought it was a lawnmower. <laughs> a lawnmower? <laughs> Well, yes, you see, Mr. Grimley... Uh, Mr. Grimley... Pardon me saying this, Mr. Grimley, that's a very unusual overall. Don't see a lot of overalls like that nowadays, you don't? That's not an overall, Mossop. That's a dress I'm making. And Mr. Grimley very kindly has put it on so I can see if this sleeve hangs properly. I feel really silly in this. <laughs> if it's any comfort to you, you look pretty silly too. Can I take it off now, please? Yes, I think that's all right now. Now, careful you don't scratch yourself on the pins. Pins? Uh, pardon me saying so, Marjorie, but pins aren't a very good way of holding that dress together. They'll drop out, they will, and the dress will fall apart. You mark my words. Boss up. Marjorie's only pinned the dress together for the time being. She'll sew it up later, won't you, Marjorie? Yes, on my sewing machine. I've never seen one of these before. <gasps> How does it work? Careful, Tiddler. They can be very dangerous sewing machines. Oh. You look, just see how fast the needle moves. Gosh, I wouldn't like to have my hands under there. But it does make a lovely neat job, doesn't it? Yes, I know. And it's much quicker than stitching by hand, mm. too. <gasps> oh, look. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Uh, did you make this, Marjorie? <gasps> oh, yes. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's a little on the small side, though, Marjorie. You're going to have to lose a little weight before you can wear that. Well, actually, it's not for me. It's for Tiddler. It's a surprise for her to wear at her ceremony when she becomes a Riddler. That's a very kind thought, Marjorie. Very kind thought. Hey, what are you going to be wearing at the ceremony, then, Mossop? Me, Mr Grimley? Oh, I'll wear my normal, everyday, smart clothes, I expect. Oh, I'll need a hat, though. Riddlers always wear hats on special occasions. I hope I look all right at the ceremony. Do you think my new dress will be all right? Well, what's the matter? Don't you like it? No, it's a lovely dress, Marjorie. Yes, very fine dress, mm. but... Uh... Well, don't you want me to come to the ceremony? Oh, Marjorie, I'd love you to be there when I become a riddler, but... Well, what is it? Out with it. Well, you see, only riddlers and tiddlers are allowed at the ceremony. It's a riddle of law, that is. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, never mind. It can't be helped. No use moping. There's lots of things to do here. I better make sure Tiddler's dress is finished. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Marjorie. Would you like to listen to an Aesop's foible? That might cheer you up. Thank you, Mossop. That would be nice. Right. Uh, listen for the moral for this one, Tiddler. Aesop, Aesop, tell us a story, do. There was once a Riddler who just couldn't stand winter. He didn't enjoy bright, frosty mornings, or snowballing, or sledging. He just sat shivering in his hole all winter long, with his thick coat wrapped around him and a woolly hat pulled down over his ears, trying desperately to keep warm. But looking out of his hole one day in early spring, he saw a swallow, and that made him whoop with delight. For as you may know, swallows spend the winter in far-off sunny lands, and when they return to our country, it's a sure sign that the winter is over. Summer's here! Summer's here! shouted the Riddler when he saw the bird. The first swallow of summer has arrived. We must have a party to celebrate. He invited all his friends to the party. 
There'll be cakes and jellies and riddleberry pies, he told them. You must come. And, of course, they all said that they would. But then the Riddler suddenly remembered that he had no money. Buy ek, he thought. That's a bit of a problem, that is. How can I buy cakes and jellies and riddleberry pies if I haven't got any money? He thought and he thought. And eventually he had an idea. He'd sell something that would bring him in enough money to buy the things he needed for his party. But the question was, what would he sell? I know, he thought. I'll sell me winter coat and me woolly hat. I won't be needing them for a while. Summer's here. <laughs> it must be. After all, I've seen a swallow. <laughs> and singing happily to himself, he set off to sell his winter clothes. Summer is it coming in. I've seen the first swallow. <laughs> well, the party was a great success. The cakes were the creamiest, the jellies were the wobbliest, and the riddleberry pies were the riddliest that anybody had ever tasted. And as he lay in his bed that night, the Riddler felt very happy and very full, and he drifted off to sleep to dream of the sunny summer days ahead. When he awoke the next morning, the ground was thick with snow. Winter had returned with a vengeance. Brr, he shivered. I'd better put my coat on. But of course, his coat was gone, and so was his hat. As he looked around his room, all that met his eye was a small slice of riddleberry pie. And while riddleberry pie is delicious to eat, it's not half as comforting in cold weather as a good warm coat and a woolly hat. Right now, Tiddler, what lesson do you reckon old Aesop was trying to teach us with that foible, eh? Um, swallows can make mistakes just as easy as other folk. Uh, no. Although that's true of just about every swallow I ever met. Hmm? Uh, then is it just because you see one sign that things are getting better, it doesn't mean that the bad times are over? That's it, Tiddler. Or as we Riddlers say, one swallow doesn't make a summer. Uh. We humans say that too. So you should, Mr Grimley, because that's true, that is. And the opposite is true as well. Just because one bad thing happens, it doesn't mean that everything is spoiled. I mean... I'm disappointed that I won't be able to go to Tiddler's ceremony, but I'm not going to let that spoil her big day. Quite right, Marjorie. Still, it is a shame you can't go to the ceremony. Mm. But Riddler law is Riddler law. Unless... Do you think there might be a way she could go? I don't know, Tiddler. I don't know. But I mean to find out. I do hope he can do something. Even if he can't, I've got an idea. Why don't we get somebody to take photographs of the ceremony? Well, I know looking at photographs isn't as good as actually being there, but... Well, it's better than nothing. I think that's a wonderful idea, Mr Grimley. Well, I'd better make sure I've got some film in my camera. Now, the question is, who can we get to take the photographs? You won't be able to because you can hardly take photographs of yourself, can you? And it sounds as if Mossop's going to be too busy to take any. Mm. Oh, no. Let's see if Midler is out in the garden. He could take some photographs. What a good idea, Tiddler. Come on, let's oh. see if we can find him. Here. Midler! Midler! Yes, Marjorie? Ah, there you are. Are you going to the ceremony when Tiddler becomes a Riddler? Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well... Would you mind taking photographs of everything that happens? I'd love to. What do I have to do? Here comes Mr Grimley. He'll explain. Ah, I see you've brought your camera, Mr Grimley. Well, I've brought two, actually, Miss Dawn. I've got another one in this bag, but this one is my favourite. It looks very old. Does it still work? Work? Of course it does. It's a wonderful camera. Now, who's going to be taking the photographs? Me, Louise. Oh, right. Now, what do you do? is you look through here and you can see what the camera's pointing at. You get all the people in the line, get them to say cheese, and then click, and you've taken a photograph. I'll show you. Smile, say cheese, no moving if you please. That's good, just a trick. Now hold it, click, what a picture that will be. Well, that seems easy enough. 
Well, I didn't actually take a photograph then. I was just pretending. But you can oh. take one now if you like. It'll be good practice for you. Right. Right. So, I look through here, do I? Ooh, er. uh, Mr. Grimley, I think there must be something wrong here. I can see you all, but you're the wrong way up. Oh, yes. Well, that's old-fashioned cameras. They always show things upside down. I've never been quite sure why. But you'll get used to it. Uh, I'm not sure I will. I wouldn't know what sort of picture I was taken. Didn't you say you'd bought two cameras, Mr Grimley? Well, would the other one be easier to use? Oh, yes, it would. But the photographs it takes aren't as good as from the old camera. Could I try it, please? Well, yes. <laughs> now, with this one... You have to look through here and press this button here to take the picture. But with this camera, you can see the picture you've taken straight away because it comes out the front. Now that's better. I can see things the right way up when I look through this camera. <laughs> I'm sure I could take good photographs with this. Go ahead then. Right. Smile, say cheese. No moving if you please. That's good. Just the trick. No hold it. What a picture that will be. Oh, it stuck its tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Oh, look, it's beginning to develop already. Gosh, it's just like magic. It is, Tigger. Take a look at this. Oh. Hey up, hey up. What's all this, then? Midler's oh. just been practising taking a photograph so he can take some at the ceremony and I can see everything that happened. Ah, well, you won't need photographs, Marjorie. You'll be able to go to that there ceremony by yourself. Really? <gasps> how wonderful, Mossop! Yeah. But how did you manage it? I thought it was law that only Riddlers and Tiddlers could go. That is the law, all right. But old High Up, the chief Riddler, gave me special permission to make you an honorary Riddler. How's about that, then? Well, what an honour! An honour it is, but... Oh. You're going to have to earn it, Marjorie. I'm going to give you a special fast training course in riddling, and only if you pass the course will you get this. I'll study really hard, Mossop, believe me. That's wonderful, that is, Mossop. And I think you really deserve this present I've got for you. <gasps> a hat. And what a hat. I think that'll look really good at the ceremony. Good. It'll look magnificent. Can I try it on? May I? Oh. Oh. Um, is it perhaps a touch too big? Oh, never mind that, Mr Grimley. It's wonderful. Look, the photograph's finished enveloping. Oh, whatever you call it. De developing. Where? Oh. Where? 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 Isn't it oh, great? Isn't it? Oh, that's you. Where is it? And you, Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> where is it? Come on, it's surely. It's pretty, doesn't it? I want to see yeah. it. Where? Isn't it clever? <laughs> <laughs>